Hello, my name is Bruce Womunda from Water for People Rwanda. And today I'm going to share with you our experience in moving uh, beyond community to utilities in terms of water supply uh, delivery in rural areas. This uh, is done through uh, delegation of water supply service delivery from the local government to private operators. Our experience is from one of our district of interventions, which is named Rulindo District. Uh, this shift has come from community-based management to private operators through a public-private partnership. This has come from a bad experience of the community-based management where the service were stopped uh, so many times because the operation maintenance were not done properly and when asked to the community, it was not clear who is responsible to ensure that operation and maintenance. The Rulindo district is composed of gravity and uh, powered uh, systems, pumped systems, which sometimes pumped up to 400 meters. It is composed uh, with 63 uh, water supply systems that are serving more than 300,000 people. This uh, shift from community to public-private uh, partnership is embedded into the national policy. And the district has normally a, a choice to sign contracts with uh, private operators. And from our experience, uh, we came to reduce the number of private operators to two people, two contracts two individuals, two private companies, which has now been reduced to a single private operator who is now managing the entire district because uh, the former ones has uh, resigned. Our role as Water for People is to help the district and the private operator to understand the full life cycle cost. And this is done through a, a tool that we call at what cost model. The tool helps the private operator to understand uh, its expenditure and its revenues and project it in the future to understand uh, the, 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 the projection of uh, his costs and to see if he's making profit or not. It also helps to understand the district to understand the amount of money they are supposed to get from the, from the private operator as royalties and to see if they will be able to uh, get some funds for replacement in the future. The tool also helps to understand what could be the proposed tariff in terms of uh, balancing the expenditures and the revenues and to see what are the adjustments that are needed in order to ensure a benefit and an affordable tariff to the, to the population. It also helps to build a trust between the district and the uh, and the private operators, because sometimes in most of the cases, the private operator thinks if someone comes to ask them about the expenditures, we are coming as auditors or we want to see their financials in order to make them pay more taxes. We did not stop there also. We also established a customer feedback mechanism to make sure that the populations who are the beneficiaries or who are the people who uh, are supposed to receive the, 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 the water supply services, have a mechanism to report every fault or every uh, feedbacks or complaints so that the district can make sure that the service is always ensured. It also, it also gives uh, a capacity building to the private operators to make sure they understand the viability of their businesses and they'll be able to make a profit and they'll be able to make adjustments uh, where needed. Our model is to make sure that the private operator uh, understands what he's doing. In Rwanda, the private operator is responsible for covering operation maintenance. That means all the small repair, all the small fixing that are needed are his responsibility. He's also, uh, entitled to pay a 10% royalty fees to the district. This 10% is normally used to cover uh, support costs from the district which are needed to make sure that the monitoring is done, the following, uh, the follow-up is done, and uh, uh, the 
the money for that, and that this 10 percent can cover that in return the district will provide capital and maintenance expenditures that are needed this is for all the uh, all the major replacement uh, and all also all the new infrastructure uh, investment the contract is normally for five years and it is can be renewed based on performance and of course there is uh, regular performance monitoring to make sure that uh, the service is always provided and the service provider is reporting to the district on a monthly basis for the tariff and costs uh, initially uh, there is a district wide tariff which has now uh, uh, it is uh, set the, the tariff is set by the Rwanda Utility Regulatory uh, Authority and it is now making challenges because the private operators are claiming that this tariff is not uh, cannot help them to make a profit this is a challenge because uh, a system can be different from another one someone pumping from 400 meters is uh, will make will not make the same profit as someone who's pumping to maybe 10 meter and this is this varies from a region to another one there's a hilly region and there's a flat region and this national tariff is not helping at all however we are uh, seeing to see how we can support uh, national level to make sure that we understand the full tariff that is needed so for the people who are pumping water on hilly places on the mountainous places it is making a challenge because sometimes they have to, uh, to incur high operating costs and high pumping costs which are very challenging and the operation maintenance as i said is covered by the private operator and the capital replacement are uh, covered by the district where is the limit between the two is uh, the capital replacement is normally uh, considered where uh, there is an intervention that need to replace a component and it's we need to bring a new one for example if there is a pump is not functioning if there is an activity that required that pump to need to be replaced and remove the, the the older one and put a new one that is capital uh, replacement but if the pump can be fixed and there's maybe a need to replace the fuse or a small thing that is operation maintenance and sometimes uh, the, the the capital replacements start when the cost is above uh, 500 us dollars the royalties are not enough to cover the cap manex and the district need additional uh, support uh, from government from the central treasury to make these intentions there are also intense incentives to increase household connections to make sure that we increase the number of uh, customers we are not stopping at the district level and within the district but we are trying to promote this model and scaling it up at national level and to make sure that all the systems that are not managed by WASAC, I did not mention it in the beginning, but in Rwanda, WASAC, which is the water utility, uh, the national water utility, is responsible for water supply delivery in all urban areas. But for the rural urban area, for the rural areas, the service delivery is uh, is ensured by uh, private operators who sign contract with the district. So those ones. Um, we make sure that this model for rural water supply service delivery is covered uh, uh, by using our model and uh, it is scaled up at national level. We still have questions around tariff and the balance between the costs because sometimes even the private operators do not tell the truth and sometimes they want to hide their expenditure costs or they want to increase their expenditure costs to, in order to pay less royalties and less taxes. However, the choice around the size of the mini utilities and the number of price operator is important because when you deal with a reduced number of people and a reduced number of contracts, you can have an efficient management. Instead of dealing with 10 contracts, when you deal with two contracts, it is very helpful and you make sure you know who to ask and where to ask it. So this model has proven uh, some results, some good results, and we are seeing in how we can uh, scale this model at country level. Thank you. This is what I wanted to share with you today.